Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining. We should be here today to talk about Office 365 Planner. My name is Patty Smirk with Simplex IT, and we do these project management webinars once a month. Um, so today's topic is Office 365 Planner. Uh, please let me know uh, in the chat window if you have any problems um, with the audio or if you have any specific questions you want me to cover. Um, I usually kind of glance over at that um, uh, throughout the webinar, so uh, that's the best way to, to communicate with me. Um, so, if you have um, uh, any questions, like I said, let me know. Um, so, um, we're in great company. We partner with a lot of um, great organizations, Microsoft, Softbo, Cisco, um, so we can support any one of those technologies. Um, if you have any questions with those, certainly reach out and let us know. Um, should Simplex IT be your IT department? Well, we sure hope so. So if you uh, can answer yes to any one of these questions, um, please reach out and uh, let's have a chat. Uh, we have some great topics uh, planned for the next uh, month or so. Um, of course, today we're here for Office 365 Planner. Um, if you're local to Northeast Ohio, we're actually doing um, an executive seminar on October 5th at our office in Stowe. Um, so we'll be talking about backup, disaster recovery, business continuity, um, basically keeping your business running in the event of um, a disaster. And we always think of disasters um, being, you know, floods or hurricanes, and we don't get a lot of that in Northeast Ohio, so we don't have to worry about that, luckily. Um, but, but a disaster can be, um, you know, a hacker, lost data, um, you know, issues with your network, anything that's going to, to bring your business um, um, down. Uh, so we're going to talk about uh, ways to um, recover from those disasters, ways to prevent those disasters, and also ways to keep your business running during a disaster. Um, so uh, please come out and join us on October 5th. Um, it's actually an executive breakfast this time. Uh, we always do lunches, so we thought we'd change it up a little bit and do breakfast. Um, so it's from 9 to 11. Um, we'll have some breakfast at our offices in Stowe, which is right up, I don't know, in between Akron and Cleveland if you're familiar with the area. Um, you can always go to our website and check out our event calendar to register for that, but it should be a good time. Um, and then the next day, we're doing the office webinar on um, PowerPoint screen recorder. So I did a um, kind of a what's new in PowerPoint um, several months ago, and one of the big topics was the screen recorder. So um, within PowerPoint, there's a way to record um, what, you're, what you're doing. Um, and it, it's a great way for uh, training and, and um, things like that. So I thought we might want to um, do just a, a short topic on just the screen recorder, how to do the recordings, um, you know, and how to put them in the different slides. Um, and then the next PM webinar, um, we're going to talk about task types in Microsoft Project. So um, there's a number of different task types from fixed units, fixed work, fixed duration. And if you've worked with Project at all, I'm sure you have fought with this <laughs> um, from from some time or at some point where you know you change the duration and the resource allocation changes from 100% to 50% or um, you know you add a resource and it increases the duration or you just can't get that you know work and duration fields to to work out right so it, it's always frustrating um, so we're going to talk about that and and what the different task types do so um, uh, exciting topics coming up um, Simplex IT is more than uh, just your virtual CIO. Uh, of course, we can uh, help you with IT-related um, issues. We can be your company's IT department, or we can complement your company's IT department. But we also have a branch that focuses strictly on um, your corporate data, so ensuring that the health, performance, and usefulness of the, the applications that use databases are, are, are as good as they can be. Um, and then Simplex PM is the branch that I head up. Um, and we're here to just uh, help project managers at small to mid-size you know, companies uh, manage projects better. So um, sometimes we think of project management as being you know, only necessary for big, huge construction projects or, or big you know, enterprise projects, and that's not the case. Uh, we're a fairly small company and we use it all the time. Um, so it's, um, it, it's uh, some of the same core principles that, that the big guys use, we can use at the small to, to mid-size uh, level. So. Um, certainly, uh, reach out to us if you have any uh, PM questions or, or me specifically. Um, all right, so now that we've worked through the audio issues and all the, <laughs> the welcome slides, uh, let's take a look at Office 365 Planner. So I'm just going to um, show you my own personal instance of it. 
Um, prior to the webinar, the only thing I did was I opened up um, Edge and I signed into Office 365. And then from the Office 365 menu, uh, I just selected Planner. Now, some subscriptions have Planner already. Uh, so you may want to check. You may have it and not even know it. Um, it was introduced uh, maybe six months ago, um, and so it, it, it may be there for you. If not, then we can add it to your subscription for you. Um, just let me know. So I went to Planner, and the first thing that I see um, is my Planner Hub. So these are all of the projects that I have in Planner. Um, and Planner is just, it's a, um, it's, I hate to call it a project tool uh, because it's really not a project management tool, but it's a great um, sort of task management um, and a to-do, sort of a to-do list on, on steroids, if you will. Um, so these are all of the plans that we've done. Uh, you can see I've been tinkering with it a little bit. Um, I'm more on the, um, I, I lean more towards a Microsoft project, but there have been times where I've needed something a little less than project um, or something a little bit different than project. And a great example of that is when we did our open house and, and ribbon cutting um, ceremony. So for that, I didn't want to create tasks and you know put in start dates and finish dates and durations and things like that. I just wanted reminders so that I wouldn't forget to you know, order the, the bottles of water or what have you. So I created a, a quick planner tool. Let me just open that and share it with you. <clears throat> Um, so I created a, a, a Office 365 planner plan, if you will. Um, and now some of these are completed, so I'll just open this up and show you the ones that are completed. And then we'll walk through and I'll show you how to actually create one from scratch. Um, but just so that you can see sort of what, what a plan looks like. Um, you have basically columns or, or buckets, if you will. So these columns you can control and name them anything you'd like. So I named mine just you know general things that I needed to do. Um, any invitation, social media, you know, announcement type um, tasks went here. Anything related to the menu went under food. Um, anything that related to the decorations or you know any giveaways, things like that that I needed, I put under decorations. Um, and then my last minute things that I needed to do uh, on Monday morning, I had a list for that. That was my sort of my um, last ditch effort at, at getting some tasks done. Um, so you can see here, if I open up this card, um, you can see that I had uh, a card for myself to create some games. It was assigned to me. It was in the general to-do bucket, but I could change that here if I wanted to. Here, I have it that I have not started yet, but if I started it, I could mark it in progress. And I have a start date and a due date. You can also have a checklist. Um, you can have a description. So these were just my thoughts on you know different games that I wanted to do. Um, you can have attachments. So you can actually attach a file to this card, or you can attach a link. Um, and then you can type comments here as well. And what I like is that you can see the history of it. So here you can see when I created it, and then you can see that I assigned it to Bob, and then I assigned it back to myself. <laughs> um, so it, I have you know a little, little bit of history. Um, you can also set your labels and select a label for the card. And then under the ellipsis button, there is the delete option. If I wanted to add another resource to this card, I could click on the plus sign <clears throat> and I could change it back to Bob. Now, if I decided that I wanted a new card, well, let's, let's show you how to create a new plan altogether. So now that you've seen it, um, sort of an, an overview, let's start with a brand new plan from scratch. So I'm just going to go up to my menu and click on new plan. And I'm going to name the plan. Um, September webinar. Where are we having it? Called webinar example or something else. Um, so I have an email address for the group. 
Um, I can make it public or I can make it private for just myself if I didn't want to share it with everybody, but I don't mind if other people here at Simplex IT can view my plan. So I just hit create and now it's creating my plan for me. And you'll see once my plan is created, it's going to be um, sort of a shell of what you see here. There won't be any columns or any cards created. So I have um, one to do column. Uh, here I can enter my task name, I can set the due date and I can add a resource. Um, so let's say that we are planning an event. That, that worked out pretty well. Um, so here, uh, my to-do will be, um, I don't know, order and I need to do that by the 30th. And I'm going to say that I'm going to do that. So I'll do that task. So it adds that card for me and it creates a new um, uh, shell of a card, if you will, up at the top. Now here I can start creating my new buckets. So if I wanted to sort of continue with the same theme as what we did with the um, office open house and ribbon cutting that we did, I can have you know, something up here that says menu. Um, and then maybe I can have... Um, Oh, I don't know. Let's do one for name. And then let's just do one for invitations and general announcements. Uh, maybe I'll change my mind. I like announcements better, so I'll just go back and rename that. Very easy. I just click on it and I can automatically edit it. There's nothing, um, no additional step there. And if I wanted to create a new card under menu, I'll click under menu and I'll say order uh, pasta. And I'm going to say I want to get that ordered maybe on Monday. Um, and I am going to assign that to Kayla. She's a, another person here at Simplex IT. And I'm going to add her to that task. And then I'm going to add another task and I'm going to say, um, oh, let's say um, prepare trivia game. Prepare trivia game. And I don't really want to set a due date for that. It's something that, you know, maybe I'll work on as I have time. Um, maybe I just don't want a due date. Um, or maybe I just want to put it out there because I thought of it, but I don't necessarily know who's going to do it or what the assignment is. So I just say that so that you know that you don't have to have a due date and you don't have to have an assignment. Um, now you'll notice that I created this under the menu column, which of course is not. We're not going to, <laughs> to eat our trivia game, so I'm going to move it over to the games column. I'm just going to, to drag it over to games and then you'll see it appear there. Okay. Now if I want to add something under announcements here, Something in the maybe in the Chamber of Commerce newsletter. Boy, that's not flexible. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll do some postcards. So you'll notice you can get through these tasks rather quickly. So sometimes um, I like to just do a brain dump and get them all in there, um, and then go back and, and assign deadlines and figure out who's going to do it and things like that. Other, you know, other times I, it it's nice to just type in the task name and get the due date and assignment and the details out of the way um, immediately. So there's a couple different ways that you can view um, your, your plan. Um, right now we're looking at what's called the board view. So here I can see, you know, this is my board. I can see all my columns and my cards. You also have a couple of charts that are available. So if I click on charts, <coughs> Now we don't have a lot of tasks here, so some of these charts might be kind of uh, minimal, <laughs> um, but you can get kind of an overall view of, you know, okay, we have six tasks left to do, six are not started. Um, I have, you know, zero late in progress and completed. So if we had, you know, tasks that had missed their deadline, it would appear here in the late column, or tasks that, um, you know, were in progress, it, it would appear here. Um, and then here I can see 
you know, if I have any tasks that are unassigned, um, and then how many tasks each person is doing. Okay. So um, here I can see if one person is, you know, way overloaded or just, you know, how many how many things each person in that plan is doing. When you create a plan, it automatically creates a OneNote notebook for you. So you can click on Notebook, and that's a great place to store any extra notes or anything you have. Um, and then the ellipsis button here allows you to view conversations, um, calendar, you can look at the members of the plan, uh, any files associated with it, um, the one, one the one note notebook here, <laughs> uh, and then of course back to plan. And then you can select to edit the plan, leave it, add it to your favorites, or subscribe to email updates so that when anything happens um, in the plan, you know, whether uh, you're added to a task or there's a change, um, you get an email update. So if you want to see what that looks like, um, I can click on Notebook here. And what I kind of like is it opens it in another tab because that one one I keep wanting to say one one note <laughs> that um, uh, one note notebook um, is sometimes it takes a, uh, you know a few seconds to generate so it opens it up in another tab for you so sometimes I'll just you know go back to the other one and keep working um, but here you can see the the one note notebook that it created for you um, just like any other notebook so um, it's attached to that plan so it's there for you to keep your notes um, and then. You know, here I can take a look at um, the plan calendar, or I'm sorry, my calendar. <clears throat> and while that's loading, I'll just go back to planner. Um, here I can see up in the top right corner, everybody that's assigned um, to something in my plan. These are my plan members. Um, and then here I can see a, a little um, snapshot of my task list here on the right. Um, and then I can choose how I want to group them. So I can have no grouping or you know, maybe I want to see it by who it's assigned to, the due date, the progress, or what bucket it's in even. So this view is nice. You get a little task uh, view. You can see your buckets here and also the chart of everything. Um, so it's really great if you've got, you know, if you've got a lot to do, it doesn't matter which, you know, really which order. There's no dependencies um, involved here. So here was my uh, calendar that I clicked on from uh, from my additional menu. Um, so regarding dependencies, that's one thing that Planner does not have. So um, what I've noticed is there's no way to, to really say, okay, um, I can't do this task until this task is done. You know, I can't, um, um, I can't, I can't create the postcards until I um, create the social media graphics or something like that. You know, there's no way to really um, have those dependencies. Um, the other thing I, I kind of don't like, um, but it, it's not really a huge block, is that you can't have more than one resource on a task. Um, so, you know, I got around that, that the couple times that I ran into an issue with that, I got around it just by creating two different tasks or two different cards for two different people. Um, but <clears throat> you'll notice that, you know, there's only one option for um, your resource. So if I click on that to change it, you know, I can change it to somebody I can, to Bob. Um, but then that automatically removes me and adds the new resource. Um, just to take a look at the card details a little bit, I know I, I uh, did a quick overview before, um, but of course you can change the buckets here, look at the progress or change the progress, you know, if this was already started, um, when you want to start it and when it's due. Um, but I just wanted to show you this checklist. So, you know, if I wanted to add an item, let's say um, order pasta, and then I, I also want to have um, you know, pasta, salad, you know, I don't know, um, garlic bread. So you can have this checklist um, within the card. 
and as you complete that checklist, you can, or I'm sorry, as you complete the items in the checklist, you, you can check them off. Um, and then, of course, you have a description. Um, you know, maybe here I would say I would name. wanted to make a note to myself um, you know I might attach a file so I can browse SharePoint or I can upload a file maybe if I had their menu handy or I could just create a link you know www.thepastashop whatever um, and save that here and then any comments you can you can say um, I tried to call but they were closed or you know um, put my order in on this day whatever notes that you want to keep for yourself and those those comments will just generate down at the bottom here and then you can actually choose to show what you want to appear on the card so if I select show on card and close this if I go back to my board <clears throat> I should see that detail on um, that order pasta card And there it is. So here I can choose to see a little bit more detail there. So fun little planner tool. Um, like I said, it's not project. Um, and sometimes that's a good thing. And sometimes it's a <laughs> not a good thing. So um, I definitely will use it again. I'll use it for small projects like this one. Um, I probably should, should create one for the um, executive seminar on business continuity. Because uh, there's a few things that we need to do, and there's a few people that I need to coordinate with. So um, it would be a great tool for that. And I think when I get off the webinar, I will do just that. Um, so thanks, everyone, for joining us. Um, if you are hanging around for the Skype for Business webinar that is immediately following this, um, please feel free to stay on the line, or you can drop off and call back. Uh, if you didn't get the invitation to that, um, just so you know, we're doing a Skype for Business um, seminar, or I'm sorry, webinar uh, at 10:30. So same line. Feel free to stay on, um, and uh, we'll talk about Skype for Business and how you can use it for instant messaging and creating meetings and even doing it for webinars. So that's that's what I'm conducting this webinar in. Um, so I'm just going to uh, mute myself and and stop sharing my screen while we prepare for the next webinar. So thanks everyone. See you next month.